Good afternoon, Scorpio, and welcome back to my channel. This is Empress Bell. Okay, thank you for stopping by. Thank you guys for liking and sharing my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you like and share this one as well. Okay, Scorpio, I will be giving you your general love messages for uh, March 24th to the 27th. Okay, so let's see what's going on for Scorpio. I hope you guys are all well. Okay, Scorpios. Okay, Scorpios. I feel like somebody wants a second chance with you. Okay. This could be, of course, it's a person from your distant past or recent. Either way, but somebody wants you back. Or is wanting an opportunity with you, Scorpio. Hmm. Yeah, somebody maybe dealing with a fire sign, but Scorpio, oh, you have fire in your chart. Somebody may want to apologize to you, Scorpio, for all the wrong they've done. That's what I just heard. For all the wrong I've done. Wow, Scorpio. All right. Wow. Okay, so if y'all did y'all just see that car fly all the way up? This car just flew across the freaking room okay you guys and i'm shuffling and this it, it 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 took flight and guess what it is the six of wands so scorpio somebody is noticing you or scorpio this person could be or you could just be you know getting a lot of recognition or being put on a pedestal by this person okay but somebody's watching you i really feel like with the six of I feel like, yep, I feel like it's, it's someone watching you, Scorpio. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but having the victory overall, okay, Scorpio? That's what I'm saying here. Having victory over being left out in the cold, okay? Uh, somebody may want to offer you something that you left out in the cold or vice versa. Someone left you out in the cold. This person may be wanting to come back around. That's the person. Like I said, it could be a fire sign. Like I said, from the rip and, uh, yeah, that, that six of wands just... As I'm shuffling all the way over here, <laughs> it just flew across the gosh darn room. Okay, so yeah. Hmm. Scorpio, the bottom of the deck, you have the world card. Okay, the world. So there is cycles ending, or a cycle will be begin in love here. Okay, but, but somebody is uh, having a hard time maybe coming forward because they're all overthinking a situation right now, Scorpio. So I feel like. There is a new cycle beginning with you. Yeah, in love. It's a new cycle in love. Maybe with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But I just feel like it's a new cycle here. Okay? There was some delays with someone that to take a leap of faith towards you. But they're about to do it. Okay, Scorpio? All right. Let's see. Currently, it's in your current energy right now, Scorpio. Scorpio's currently feeling. Scorpio's currently feeling, yeah. Eight of Wands, but it tried to go in the reverse, so it was like this. So I'm feeling like it's like, yeah. <laughs> Scorpios are feeling like, eh, you know. Somebody may want to communicate with you, okay? Or something just wasn't moving forward, maybe with the King of Pentacles, Taurus Bird, or Capricorn, okay? Because it's at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is a person from your past, but now they want to come communicate with you, because uh, communication was like, yeah, in the middle. Yeah, now somebody all of a sudden want to work together with you. Scorpio, manifest the situation. Um, wow. So, Scorpio, I'm feeling like you may have blocked this person of some sort because they had another lover. But this is a uh, soulmate energy, okay? This person actually wants to communicate with you, okay? Or you may want to communicate with them, Scorpio. But the Eight of Wands is fast movement, fast, you know over the internet this could be somebody you're talking to online okay maybe this person moves too fast for you scorpio could be a king of pentacles uh soulmate energy six of cups person from your past but somebody wants wants to talk they need truth and clarity or some type some type of clarity wants to come into you okay so what is hidden for scorpio? Ooh. <sighs> scorpio what is hidden it's the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, two queens are here. And they want to talk. So Scorpio, 
You could have been dealing with a, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or a fire sign, Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, or a Sag, Scorpio. Um, but there was a uh, wasn't equal give and take here. Okay, that's why somebody maybe a fire, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius moved away. Okay, and they felt because they felt defeated. Okay, um, yeah, somebody walked away from love. They really loved you, Scorpio, or you really loved them, and they really walked They walked away from you. So I made a decision about the Ten of Cups. You know, they thought about it, though. This person thought about it. Should I move away or should I not? Or you're thinking about it. <clears throat> Secretly, you should be thinking, should I move towards this Queen of Swords? Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and leave behind the Queen of Wands, okay? Somebody that you have an actual family with. But I'm feeling like Scorpio, this is definitely hidden from you, or this is what you're keeping a secret. Okay. Let's see what your obstacles is for Scorpio. Obstacles for Scorpio, please. Scorpio's obstacles. Thank you. <laughs> your slow ass movement. This is an obstacle, okay? You're you're taking your sweet ass time to come towards this. Look, mm -mm -mm. Yeah. You're taking your sweet ass time. You were taking your time offering something to this queen of swords, okay? And this person cut you out, I feel like. Okay? This is a long-term, long-standing offer here of commitment. Could be done with a torch. What the fuck? Wow. Wow. Scorpio. Really? Okay. At the bottom of the deck, y'all, that just blew my fucking mind, okay? Because... It was like you're taking your sweet ass time to offer a marriage to this person, Scorpio, commitment, a relationship, okay? Like I said, you could be dealing with a Libra because that's the first, uh, second deacon of Libra is the first, Judge, um, the justice card, okay? So the justice card is Libra. They're, they wanted justice, maybe even marriage, some equal give and take here. Um, and now you're wanting a second chance with this person. So that's an obstacle. If you actually making making your moves over there to this person so that you can ask for the second chance, you're waiting on the right time to move towards this person because you know you broke their heart from doing something that was very deceitful. So you're holding back or uh, holding back right now, resurrecting this situation, Scorpio. Okay. But you definitely want to offer somebody. You want to offer this queen of swords something. Secretly. You don't, you, and it's like you don't talk about it. Maybe this was a secret relationship, a secret lover uh scorpio or you just don't want your friends and family to know what you're thinking about this person okay so what's the outcome here for scorpio mm, wow the ace of swords so clear communication clarity Facts was right here with this queen, a queen. I'm um, sorry, the queen of swords, Lord. You want to speak the truth to the queen of swords and the king and queen. It could be a soulmate connection, could be a twin flame connection. But at the end of the day, you have the ace of swords, so your truth is like you want to speak your truths at the, in your outcome. So outcome is, and you're needing the strength here to do that. So you could be dealing with a Leo, but uh leo is here the strength card is here so you're needing strength and courage to even speak your truth to this person you know about why you're being a stomach because you think it's going to cause a fight yeah and you're going to make an offer and they're just going to leave and leave you hanging and it's going to have you all stuck in your head about the queen of cups that the cycle had ended but this person is your wish fulfillment but there was a lot of toxicity here that's why this person is single and there was a need for balance here with all these options you thought you had, okay? You should have stood your ground to some of that stuff and the tower would never hit. And, or the tower will hit and there will be a resurrection of the relationship. But at the end of the day, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. I really feel as though you are wanting to offer this person something and actually just overall, like start something over with someone. I hear, I'm hearing you saying you love this person. Um, I'm sorry. I hear, I'm sorry. I love you, um, Scorpio. So maybe that's how you're feeling or somebody's feeling like that to you. Okay. You never wanted it to end like this. So it's a Scorpio that is very, very like, damn, I really, really messed up. Like this person's not going to give me another chance. It's like, um, it's like you just are sorry for whatever you have done to this person, Scorpio.
but but you won't say it to them for some reason. But I feel like you're going to make your way around saying it. So what is this Eight of Wands here for for Scorpio? Eight of Wands for Scorpio, please. Eight of Wands for Scorpio. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. Try not to make these videos too long, you guys. Try. <laughs> right. Ten of Wands. Not talking to this person is heavy. Okay, on you. Yep. You want to go ahead and take this leap of faith towards the Empress that you backstand and retreat. Wow, you got three tens at the bottom, like really in between the Empress and fighting. So, yeah, you know, there was a lot of problems in this relationship, Scorpio. But you, you just don't know how to speak your truth. You want to offer something long standing and long term, but you're not making any moves. You're not doing anything to resurrect or fix the situation. So how could you want it back? You know? Eight of Wands. Can you write your Wands for Scorpio, please? Eight of Wands, please. Yeah. Wish fulfillment in the reverse. Nine of... So you talking to this person... Um, You're not getting your wishes fulfilled because like I said, it was like... It was in the middle before, like, so it probably wanted to go in a reverse because maybe this person isn't talking to you. The nine of cups in a reverse, so it's not making you happy. But you want this brand new passionate creative endeavor. This is still a wish fulfillment card, even if it's in a reverse. But you feel like all of the love was spilled out. You want to start something over. You're like, let me get a do over. But you need to become the emperor to do that. You want a do over because you're not happy. Maybe talking to all those other people didn't make you happy either. Or you did talk to those other people because you wasn't happy. Hmm. Nine of cups in reverse for Scorpio. Nine of cups in reverse for Scorpio. Yeah, it's, just, it's a lot of juggling going on here, back and forth. Should I move towards a person? Should I keep this person in the cold? Should I do this? Should I? But it's, it's like you're not making any sound decisions here because the person may have moved out and moved on. And just went straight to being single. And you're like, I didn't want you to be single. I wanted you to stay with me. But how could you want somebody to stay with you, Scorpio, if you're not giving the love that you are supposed to be given? Now, vice versa. If this person, if this is the person that was with you, Scorpio, and they were juggling other people and they weren't making you happy because they weren't communicating. Like, how did you think that this was going to balance out? Okay, it's not going to balance out like that. It's nothing but, you know, ups and downs. Okay, and that's what was making me happy. So, two of pentacles. Two of pentacles, let's start here. Uh, two of pentacles. These cards are flying. <sighs> the ace of pentacles in the reverse. So, it's like you're juggling, but you're not making any decisions. You're trying to use your intuition here. Okay, but you need to... Right? So, Scorpio, you're trying to use your intuition. You want to make a person offer, but you don't know if you should or not. But they're saying use your intuition with the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Okay? There's a need for you to work on something with this person. Okay? Hmm. What is the Queen of Swords here for? What is the Queen of Swords for Scorpio? You want to communicate with the Queen of Swords. Okay, we got it. I told you. All right, I got it. It doesn't make you happy that you're not communicating. You know, you're juggling back and forth, but you're like, no, nah, you're being stubborn. Okay. Scorpio, you need to get out of that fixed energy. Okay? You do. You're being very stubborn right now. And you feel like, oh, I ain't going to make them the first move, but you should. Scorpio, if you were the one that caused the shit, you know, you're supposed to flush the toilet. Is all I'm saying. Now, at the end of the day, <laughs> Scorpio, you can't, you can't expect things to just come in you could come to come your way because you want to communicate and apologize to this person but you swear that this queen of swords is going to fight with you because of a family situation here her ten of cups the mother of your children you know you backstabbed and betrayed this person okay this is why they left you excuse me so they could be a libra okay taurus energy but this ten of cups is the person that you this person made you happy and you had a family with this person, but you backstabbed and betrayed them and they left. So now it's like, how can I come to you and apologize to you? Scorpio is saying like, I would look like a nut, but Scorpio, you are a nut if you don't do that. 
vice versa. If you're the cross watcher, that's like, oh, I ain't going to do that because I'm going to look like a nut. Like, what? Like, that's weird. Okay. Let go of your ego and put your pride aside if this is something that you really want. So the Eight of Wands. What you want to talk about? Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands for Scorpio. The Hermit. Why Why are you not talking to me, Scorpio One? I want the truth. No, you know why you're you're going to want to talk to this person about why you're not talking you're going to speak some truth to this person you want to tell the truth of why you're not talking to them the hermit clear about a hermit what's the hermit wow clear a hermit wow so the devil card pride ego the devil addictions Hmm. Toxic toxicity. I'm feeling bounded to this situation. So it's keeping you stuck in hermit mode. But somebody is single. But something's coming in fast towards this person. Yeah, I'm gonna get one more card on the devil. Care about the devil? This work, yo. Ha. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. So, Scorpio, I'm feeling like you want to talk or communicate communication with this person. Wow, the Queen of Swords. <laughs> you guys, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, you want to talk to the Queen of Swords? The Queen of Swords right here. You want to talk to this Queen of Swords? Okay, about actually working on something. Maybe you feel like you can't let this person go. Maybe you feel like you're addicted to this person. And you try to figure out why is this or how is this? Why do I feel this strong connection to this person? Or some Scorpios, you could want to talk to this person and be like, listen, I'm 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 not talking because you know you're you're trying to work on something, some type of addiction that you have. You're actually focusing on working on some type of toxic behavior. Hmm. Because you love the Queen of Swords. And you would like a second chance and actually have stability with this person. And not be left out in the cold from them. Wow. Okay. So you go to talk to this person, Scorpio? I don't... I, okay, that's it. Uh, what's the um, Knight of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio, please. So, yeah, you're going to go ahead on and all, could be, you know, love messages that you are stressing about. You want to send messages to this person, but you don't know. Scorpio, what is wrong? Why are you so conflicted? What is this conflicted? Okay, Mercury Retrograde will be over on the 28th, okay? So, hopefully you guys feel better. Maybe this is last week is really, like, dragging you guys down, okay? It's like you're conflicted in your mind, like, oh my gosh, you're stressed out, having anxiety about even messaging this person. Like, really? Because they laid something to rest, but you still loved them, but you were sneaking around here. That's why they ended it. You were being sneaky, there was some type of deception that was had here with this person. Yeah, and they, they ended it. They had a transformation. They ended something. Okay, or maybe you want to tell them, hey, I transformed from being the person I was. Okay. Let's see if the page of cups is here for her. Yeah, if you want to say, this is these are your obstacles. Actually, messaging this person, hey, I want a brand new passionate creative endeavor with you. You know, I know I broke your heart, but I've been keeping my eye on you. You know, trying to think of ways to manifest something with you to bring this offer to you. I've been waiting for the right time, you know, because I know you how you felt. You know, I know I did some really mean shit to you with the five of swords. You know, Scorpio is saying to this person, this is what you, this is an obstacle. That's how Scorpio just said it. So, let's see if the Ace of Wands is. The Ace of Wands is Scorpio. Wow. The, set, the judgment. Judgment, judgment, judgment. So, basically, um, you're going to have to make this decision. Okay, Scorpio. This is your obstacles. And it's heavy. And it's like... 
heavy on your mind space. And no one knows that you're going through this because you're not telling nobody this. It's like you're obsessing by quietly. You're obsessing quietly and you're, you're like, oh, I'm going to work. And you're working your ass off. But it's like something in the background of your mind that's playing constantly. And it's like, you really want to talk to this person or they really want to talk to you. You know? Hmm. So let's see what the ace of swords is. This is this communication? It's a sword. Seven of uh sorry, seven of freaking wands. So seven of wands is basically, you know, somebody being defensive. So Scorpio, maybe do you feel like if you speak to this person, somebody this person may be on the defense a little bit, okay, with me speak these truths, you know to them a person maybe that you live with or whatever okay um that you've been holding back from but i feel like something gonna go ham and you're gonna wind up being single okay and maybe this was an explosive um argument that happened and it left you single okay but somebody was defending themselves here or wanting to defend themselves here it's just the seven of uh, seven of wands yep seven of wands is wanting to defend or fight for a brand new offer here, okay? The with the star, the star is something brand new, something that's divinely guided, okay? Full of love because you're tired of the stagnation between you and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? You're just tired of this. You're like, I'm done. I'm ready to talk. Let's talk. Like, let me get this out in the open. You know, you're gonna be, you're gonna come off defensive or very strong with it, but it's gonna end with the, you know, let's see the star. It's gonna end with the tone of, you know, I really wanna be together. Care about the star card? Wow, you got to be fucking kidding me. The freaking Ace of Swords, same Ace of Swords that's right here. You're going to speak it. You're telling the truth. Yeah, yeah, you are saying I put the end to this type of energy. This sneaky shit, I'm done with it. I'm done being sneaky. I put an end to this. I done had a, train, a rebirth and it's been, I've been all in my feelings, okay? Like I can't, I, I love you. All right, I'm ready to heal the situation. You're definitely dealing with an air sign, Scorpio. Somebody, you're going to want to talk to this air sign. Like, listen, I'm ready to fix this. Like, so they might be a little defensive, you know, with this new beginning offer or whatever, you know, but you know, you know what you did. So, <sighs> Scorpio, send me guys an Let's see what's going on with you guys, Scorpio. Healing family issues. It's the first, like, wow, yeah. Wedding. This could have been somebody you were married to or had a long-term relationship with and y'all had financial issues in this marriage or relationship. But you've been waiting for it and it is worth waiting for the situation. Yeah, you need to just go ahead and express your love, Scorpio, because yes, this is your soulmate. Absolutely. And that's why you feel so bounded to this person. Make the effort is here, okay? Make the effort. Okay, Scorpio. Like that's beautiful energy. So go ahead and make the effort because I um I feel like you are just overthinking it and you just don't think that this person is going to accept your offer because of past hurts. Okay. But honeymoon is enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe um honeymoon doesn't always mean that you're gonna go on a honeymoon, okay? Honeymoon could be just like a resurrecting of the relationship, okay? You're gonna be getting to know each other all over again when this person do come back, okay? Or if you go towards them. So let's see. Scorpio. So I'm going to be next Scorpio. Any love, any love messages for Scorpio, please? Any love messages for Scorpio? Okay, yes you do. You have, you have two more love messages, Scorpio. Oh, Jesus. All right. Wow, Scorpio. What did I say? Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I said that in the beginning, you guys. An attraction. Okay. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So enjoy the moment that you do have apart from this person. But understand, it is safe for you to love. Okay. I'm, um, open up your heart to give and receive the energies of, um, I'm sorry, open up your heart to give and receive the highest energies of all. It is safe for you to love this person. Whoever this person is, whether it's a new person or an uh, old person, but I'm feeling like um, this person is this person has had a rebirth. Whoever this person you're dealing with, Scorpio, it could be you or the other person, but somebody has had a, re a rebirth, so this is a new person. So make sure, don't think that their per this person is going to be as defensive as they used to be or wanting to fight because they're not. They're more open, they're more understanding, and they would like to talk as well. If they were cellmate in the past, they won't be this time around. 
Okay, Scorpio, I hope this reading resonated with you guys. Thank you. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.